For the first time ever in human existence, we have a secondary option to a non-governmental controlled currency. Now that is mind boggling. Now for the first time ever, you and I have a secondary option. And this is why Bitcoin is so important or any cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ether, and many different other ones. But Bitcoin was the first one uh, created by Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, the reason why Bitcoin is so important and the reason why you need to understand it, not technically speaking, but understand the concept of it and understand how cryptocurrency works is because it gives you an option to opt out. It gives you many multitude different options and opportunities to benefit you and your family around the world. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly why. So if you look at our banking system right now, and I'm not gonna go into crazy details about it, but if you do look at it, you look at the Federal Reserve System, you look at how they do banking with inflation rates and actually lending out, <laughs> lending out nine tenths of what they supposedly have in the reserve. So that's fractal reserve system they have. It is absolutely absurd, absurd. You know, if you look at 2008 with the bailouts, they, they gave the banks, they gave the insurance company, they gave the car companies hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars literally printed on the spot, which what happens? It devalues your currency, it devalues the whole economy and inflation goes up. And there's something to say when the actual nation's um, interest rate can't go up, Canada can't go up, United States can't go up, for fuck's sake, Japan is minus or negative uh, interest rate, that tells you something. That tells you something a lot, man. It tells you it tells you we are in big trouble. And you see all around you right now, currency wars. What happened in India? They eliminated two denominations of currencies. What happened in Cyprus not too long ago? The whole government shut down and took people's money. What happened in the 80s and the 70s in the United States? I believe it was Ohio and Nebraska. They shut down the banks for 25 days and people couldn't get their money. So listen. The money that you have is funny money, to tell you the truth. There's nothing backing up. There's no gold backing up. There's no silver backing up. It's literally numbers that some bank told you is worth something. And at the end of the day, it's not worth anything. So what Bitcoin does for you, it actually gives you, for the first time ever in human history, it gives us a secondary option that is not controlled by the government, is not controlled by the Federal Reserve System. You and I right now can buy Bitcoin, I can go on the many different apps I have. I can go on certain exchanges such as Coinbase, Kraken. Uh, you can buy from local Bitcoins. You can buy Bitcoins in any different currency. You can, you can earn Bitcoin. So this is something that I, that I promote and suggest people work for Bitcoin. So if you're freelancers, work for Bitcoin. Upwork, Fiverr, whatever. You can have your own different wallet, but accept Bitcoin. So now you have Bitcoin. Uh, or you have any other different cr cryptocurrency like Ether, you can send it anywhere in the world. So if I wanna, get this, so if I wanna right now send Bitcoin to my friend in Japan, and I'm gonna send him right now $5,000 worth of Bitcoin, it's probably gonna cost me less than 75 cents to send him $5,000 worth of Bitcoin and it took me less than an hour for him to get it. As opposed to if I go to my bank and I wanna send him $5,000, we have to go through, through, through Swift, we have to, you know, institution number, account number, all these different numbers, wait about 72 hours and pay roughly about 40 bucks for me to send the money. That's ridiculous, a 2006 and at the mercy of the banks. For what? Even going from my own branch to their own branch in a different country, they still charge me money. As opposed to with cryptocurrency, you are the bank. You own the bank in your phone. Even if your phone is lost, you can back it up with certain mnemonic codes. That, that original phone that is lost completely gets erased as soon as you back it up with your new code on a new device or uh, online. So for the first time ever, if a currency starts deflating or starts devaluing its buying power, such example as India, about, I would say two weeks ago, with the big news with the currency devaluing two of the denominations, you saw Bitcoin skyrocket. I think it was like 1100 at its highest point. Because what, what do you do at that point when your buying power literally decreases by half, the dollar they have in the bank account, regardless if you have one dollar or a million dollar is worthless. Well, for the first time ever, you and I have the option of buying cryptocurrencies from our phone, whether that be Bitcoin, whether that be Ether, whether that be Dash, there's thousands of different alternative coins. But now we can buy it, bring it to our phone and have an actual economy that is not connected to a cabal that's controlled by men in suits that we have no idea what they're doing and what their purpose is. So this is why I'm such a proponent of Bitcoin. This is why I'm such a proponent of blockchain technologies and cryptocurrency. And we can take this a step further. You know, the World Bank says, or the World Economic Forum states that there's roughly two billion people who are unbankable in the world. That's two billion 
people who do not have a bank account because the government do, doesn't trust them and won't give them a bank account or because it's too corrupt in their countries. Now, for the first time ever, all they need is a phone and an internet connection and they can have their own Swedish bank account on their phone. Now they can do global commerce, they can do local commerce. They don't have to worry about corrupt governments, they don't have to worry about the mafia around them because they are their own bank. And this has ramifications everywhere. Just imagine if we just hand out affordable phones to everybody and bring them on to this crypto economy online on a decentralized distributed platform. And this is why I'm, I'm a huge optimist of the future and I think the future is bright. And I love the fact that this type of technology actually empowers people. Furthermore, uh, if we're looking at charities, we're looking at foundations, a lot of charities are corrupt. I have no idea where my money goes in a charity. And with a blockchain technology and cryptocurrency, everything becomes transparent. So instead of us trying to give money to a charity, it's half the time oxymoron with a charity because the whole point of ch for a charity to exist is to solve a problem, but yet the charity's been around for 50 years, the problem still exists. In fact, the problem probably is more exacerbated than ever. So that's an oxymoron in my mind. However, why should I give money to a charity, which it's a trickle down effect, a dollar here ends up being a penny down there, when I can give from person to person. Same idea as GoFundMe, but instead of crowdfunding, literally if a person is in need and they need some money, I can send them Bitcoin, whether that is $10 worth of Bitcoin or $100 worth of Bitcoin instantaneously in real time. And this is why I think this technology, the underlying blockchain technology, is gonna revolutionize the world as we know it for the first time ever, and I know I keep on repeating this, but it's a fucking big deal. For the first time ever, we have a second option. We can opt out of the fiat currency system and create our own economy and marketplace that is not controlled by anybody. Okay, and that's that. And to wrap it up, I highly recommend, get involved. You can go check out blockgeeks.com for more information. Uh, join an exchange, go to Coinbase, I'll leave a link below. Buy some Bitcoin, buy some Ether, download some apps. A uh, great wallet is a person here from Toronto called Jax, J-A-X-X. -X. There's a million different wallet. You can download the Coinbase wallet, Bread wallet. There's a million different wallets. I'm not the privy or savvy to any single one or have any loyalty to any single one. I experiment with all of them, but download a wallet. Do some exchanges with people and really get involved in this and actually dive in deep and feel it, how, how it feels to buy some cryptocurrency, sell some cryptocurrency, transfer cryptocurrency, and that's the first step into diving into this world. If you like this video, guys, you know what to do, share, leave a comment, man. I wanna know what your thoughts about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, blockchain technology is, and I'll make sure to reply. Peace.